Hey everybody, Rudy here from Take A Bath Productions with another video helping you fix various things. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to open up the transmit on this Yaesu FTM 400 XDR. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Alright, as you can see here, we're just working on the body. The front panel doesn't need to be here for this operation. So we're going to pull out these screws. Don't take out these screws. These just hold the speaker in. Not necessary. By the way, this video is for educational purposes only. I am not responsible if you screw up your radio. I'm sorry, but that's on you. I'm only showing how to do this because I can. And somebody out there might be curious. Be careful when you pull this off. The speaker is t attached on the circuit board, so don't just yank that off. See right here? Just carefully pull that plug out. Just like that. All right, we're separated. Oh, I just wanted you to get oriented with where we're actually at in the radio. As you can see here, it's the power cable where it comes in at. And this is the front of the radio. The mic plugs are right here. The mic and, of course, the front panel plug. Uh, in this left-hand corner, as you're looking at it from the top, you should have a sticker here that says update with a little switch there. Uh, don't disturb that switch, but you'll have to pull back this sticker because the resistor that you need to remove is underneath the sticker, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and pull back that sticker, and then I'll come right back. All right, welcome back. I went ahead and took the uh, liberty of zooming in where we need to be. And like I was showing you earlier, this is this front left corner, lower corner as you're looking at the front of the radio from the top. And your Huckleberry, see this plus sign right here coming off the battery. Your Huckleberry is right there, closest to the plus sign. And these, well, of course, this one's closest to the plus sign, but uh, this is what R1848 is the one you need to remove. And I can see that that's nestled in there pretty tight. Okay, what you can do if you don't have a hot air station is you can take a real sharp point soldering iron and... Get an X-Acto knife in there, pretend this is an X-Acto knife, and uh, just hold some pressure on there and work yourself back a little bit at a time, one, you know, back and forth, and just keep that pressure on there until it comes loose. Uh, that's, we're not, we're not going to do it that way today. I'm going to try my hot air station and get that out of there. And you also have to be cautious with that, not to melt the uh, plastic pieces that are around the area. We're going to be using a uh, 898D rework station. It's cheap. It's less than uh, 50 bucks, or it's in that $50 range, and you can get them from Amazon. And uh, they do work really well, uh, so we're going to give this a try. If I get my head stuck in the way, I do apologize. I'm going to try to stay out of the way, but uh, I have to be able to see so I don't screw up my $500 radio. All right, that component came out of there uh, cleanly. No problem with the circuit board. If you couldn't see what I did, um, I know I had to, to get in there and do my job without you know, worrying about the camera, but um, I've got this thing turned off now, and I'm going to show you. Here's the one that I took out right here. Okay, so now I can kind of show you what I did. I put pressure on there, just a little bit of side pressure on there, just like that, because there's no room for tweezers in there. And... 
I held this this uh, unit here straight up like this. I had the setting, the heat setting was on as high as it'll go. I tried it on a lower setting and it just wouldn't get hot enough fast enough. So hold that thing straight up, but I'm gonna show you now. I got it in there real close like so until it heated up and then it pushed out of the way. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but it pushed out of the way on one side, but not the other, so I had to do it a second time. Uh, it's really tight in this space. Uh, if you have a soldering iron, I recommend extreme caution. It's not a lot of room right there. Uh, this hot air station did a fine job, but um, getting a soldering iron in there, no matter how small the tip is, is going to be a real challenge. Okay, so that's all I did. Just push that sucker out of the way, and that's it. The... Uh, the terminals is, I don't know if you can see this right here, this small, but they, they came out real clean, no damage to the board. Uh, so I'm happy with that. I'm going to put the lid back on and I'll come back and uh, test it out for you. Okay, as you can see here, I've got it all back together and powered up. Uh, one thing I should have mentioned at the beginning of the video, uh, you should back up your memories to the SD card because uh, when you do this procedure, it's going to reset everything back to uh, as it came out of the box from the factory so you're going to lose all your memories. Uh, but you can you can back that up on the SD card, so uh, to avoid that problem, I recommend doing that. Um, the TX range in 2 meters was 137 to 174, and the 70 centimeter range is going to be 420 to 470. Okay, so here we're at 137. Uh, anybody that gets excited about me transmitting on this frequency, I'm in a dummy load, so chill out. All right, here we go, 137, transmits fine, and 174, no problem. All right, and here's the uh, 420, 470. All right, that's the range right there. Um, you can transmit in the... Uh, I mean, this isn't legal, of course, but you can transmit in the FRS frequencies if you wanted to. You shouldn't do that. This radio is not type accepted for that, but you can. FRS2, how many ever you want. And also, looks like I didn't program them in there, but the uh, MERS frequency, M-U-R-S, it'll transmit there too. Uh, but again, radio is not type accepted, so you transmit there at your own risk. All right, guys, if you've enjoyed this video, click on that thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I come out with videos as often as I can. Thanks for watching.